What is oral cancers? Oral cancers are cancers that predominantly affect the oral cavity. Uh, this can be affecting any of the subsites of the oral cavity, which would be uh, the lips, the tongue, the cheek, the gums, the mandibular bone, or the palate. So, so what are the different types of oral cancers? Okay, so the types of oral cancers can be uh, differentiated on histo uh, histopathologically. And uh, what are the causes of oral cancers? So. Uh, Causes of oral cancer, I would like to speak specifically on squamous cell carcinoma. Squamous cell carcinoma, I would like to speak on because it affects the bulk of the population. Squamous cell carcinoma of the oral cavity is caused mainly due to uh, tobacco use. So, so what are the investigations that are required for oral cancers? Investigations required for oral cancer, the first I would like to say is uh, a self-examination. A patient should examine and see if there are any changes in the oral cavity. The first diagnostic investigation would be a biopsy. How do we know when we'll have to consult a maxillofacial surgeon? Primarily, if any patient has got a lesion in the mouth, in the cheek, which has been present for more than a month, it is not healing, it is not responding to any medication taken to them. Hello and welcome everyone with another episode with our Netaji Shubhas Chandra Bose Cancer Hospitals, Dr. Zul Kannan Negev. Today we are here uh, with uh, Dr. Zul who is our maxillofacial surgeon with fellowship in head and neck oncology. So we will be discussing about oral cancers with Dr. Zul. So Dr. Zul, my first question to you is what is oral cancers? Oral cancers are cancers that predominantly affect the oral cavity. Uh, this can be affecting any of the subsites of the oral cavity, which would be uh, the lips, the tongue, the cheek, the gums, the mandibular bone or the palate and uh, any other subsites which would affect the oral cavity. It could also be the oropharynx, uh, the tonsils. So these uh, cancers affecting these parts of the oral cavity would be predominantly defined as oral cancer. So, so what are the different types of oral cancers now? Okay, so the types of oral cancers can be uh, differentiated on histo uh, histopathologically. Cancers that are arising from squamous cells will be known as squamous cell carcinomas. Cancers that are arising from glandular tissue, that would be the minor salivary glands. There would be uh, mucoepidermoid car carcinoma, adenocystic carcinomas or adenocarcinomas. Cancers arising from soft tissue, mainly sarcomas would be known as uh, sarcomas of the oral cavity. These are few of the uh, cancers that we see persisting in the oral cavity. Squamous cell carcinoma predominantly comprises of 90 to 95% of the cases. The others are rare, but they still do uh, present in the Indian subcontinent. And uh, what are the causes of oral cancers? So, uh, Causes of oral cancer, I would like to speak specifically on squamous cell carcinoma. Squamous cell carcinoma, I would like to speak on because it affects the bulk of the population. Squamous cell carcinoma of the oral cavity is caused mainly due to uh, tobacco use. It is used uh, also caused due to use of uh, betel nut, the alkaloids produced from uh, pan and zarda. Tobacco use is predominantly the cause of oral cancer. But oral cancer can also happen uh, from continuous uh, trauma to the tissues, from ill-fitting dentures, from traumatic bites, from sharp teeth. So there are various reasons from which oral cancer can arise. We have to predominantly make sure that uh, the causes are known to the people and uh, they can be arrested at an early stage. So, so what are the investigations that are required for oral cancers? Investigations required for oral cancer, the first I would like to say is uh, a self-examination. A patient should examine and see if there are any changes in the oral cavity. The first diagnostic investigation would be a biopsy. A biopsy would tell us if the patch or the lesion that has been present in the oral cavity is persisting, if it is cancerous or not. Okay. Once we have a diagnosis that it is oral cancer, then we can undergo uh, other investigations to know how many uh, 
how far the cancer has spread if it is involving other structures like muscle bone mm. if it is involving uh, the if it is spread to the neck so we would generally go for C, uh, a contrast enhanced uh, ct scan for the oral cavity if soft tissue is involved uh, primarily like tongue parotid we would go for a contrast enhanced uh, mri and uh, if patient uh, is not able to afford these uh, investigations we can go for other cheaper alternatives but they generally don't give us that clearer picture of the cancer so so how do we know when we'll have to consult a maxillofacial surgeon primarily if any patient has got a lesion in the mouth in the cheek which is been present for more than a month it is not healing it is not responding to any medication taken to them if a patient has loose teeth which have suddenly turned loose there was no history of the teeth being loose there is no trauma but the teeth have suddenly become loose they experience a uh, expansion of the jaws the jaw size is increased or there is a uh, swelling in the neck it is uh, at that point they should consult a specialized doctor for the oral cavity to at least get the disease assessed okay. once the disease is confirmed and assessed then they can go ahead with the treatment for that so as you said uh, once the teeth is loosened yeah. so generally what happens we go to a dentist right right so do you think uh, dentists play an important role in referring patients to yes so uh, the first line of doctors that usually see these cases in india the patients approach uh, patients suffering from oral cancers they will come to a doctor complaining about number 1 the teeth have loosened up number 2 burning sensation in the mouth number 3 foul smell coming from the mouth so these are symptoms that are seen at a very early stage or like loosening of teeth can happen in an advanced stage but the patient is unaware so generally the first people the cardinal point for these uh, cardinal doctors these patients go to will be a doctor who will be specialized in the oral cavity namely dentist mm. now the dentists need to diagnose the disease and refer it to the specialized doctor for that disease so yes the Uh, dentists are usually the first people who see these mm. uh, diseases and are able to help with early diagnosis and treatment thank you dr zul for thank giving you. us your time